The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow, and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In continuation of the corporate witness, we have to be very much careful when we are dealing with the Jehovah, the Christ and the church, husband and the wife. And furthermore, it is very much needed for us that we do not know the right procedure to worship the Lord. As our Lord said to that Samaritan woman, telling to the point, the time comes when you will not serve your Father in heaven, not in this mountain, but a Father is seeking those worshippers who shall worship Him in spirit and in biblical truth, because you are not knowing the procedure, you are not perceiving the method, how we, the Jews, will worship that great Lord. And furthermore, he said, now not only this, the great worship of Jehovah will come through the filling of the Spirit and through the procedure of the right inculcation of Bible doctrine. This is how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ constantly reprimanded that woman. And furthermore, our Lord has told that those who are worried with the same mind to be concerning about the things of Christ are more valued and honored rather than concerning for their own things on this earth. Therefore, dear brethren, how joyful it would be for the Lord to find one who has been lost in the hundred and brought him back, and he would be constantly rejoicing, keeping him upon his shoulders. So will be the same joy to our Lord in this apostate period where he could find a great corporate witness, where he could find the same people who are reaching for maximum glorification unto Christ with the works wrought by God, with the procedure of rebound and being filled with the Spirit. The same will be the great procedure for the persons who are been in charge as the pastors in the pulpits to worship that great Lord in the true doctrine which he has been communicating to us, to worship that great Jehovah with the principles and the integrity of the word of the Lord and not by any other means as such the people may think that this could be the procedure. No, our Lord wants only those things wherewith he has been given for us to be both corporatively and individually to the maximum glorification of Christ and seek for the things of Christ, not for the things of self. When you seek the things of self in the marriage, you are going to lose. But seek the things of Christ to be a great corporate witness unto Jehovah so that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ might be glorified. And we do have much more to be communicated pertaining to the things of corporate witnesses and individual witnesses as such how Satan comes up with various invasion schemes because the method is when a believer absolutely obscures and gets values from the Lord of the Lord then and there itself he has really given a platform for Satan to enter and to give a great destruction rather than giving a great information about this corporate witnesses. So dear brethren, we are here to tell to you all again and again, getting married, congratulations, but taking into the point of reality towards the Bible doctrine with the corporate witness is of great work. That work constantly demands that a man, that a man who has been to the marriage should grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, a woman who has been there to him should respond to him by the resident of doctrine that is in her soul and learning through doctrine through, through isagogical concept and the proper dispensation techniques is the ultima that you and I as a believer can give a corporate witness unto Christ. So dear brethren, we do not know how to worship that great Lord, but it is our Lord who is going to make, him, make him to be worshipped from spirit and that spirit alone and in truth is going to use as a nutrient. And above all, when we have been worshipping in the spirit and in the biblical truth, we are going to seek the things pertaining to Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not the things pertaining to our own self-vain glory. Dear brethren, ponder over these things as we shall continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.